Hello and welcome. Um, this is the next scenario in the El Alamein starter set for the fourth edition Flames of War. In the first video, uh, basically, we had our tanks out with some terrain and it was free for all, so to speak, go and take them out. But now, this time, this is the next mission here. Uh, they don't give the dimensions of the table, so, well, I'm just going to do a little bit of guessing. The whole point is put terrain, put tanks on the table, and have a go at it. Now, in this case here, they said put the terrain down however you want. You're going to put the objectives about 24 inches apart from each other, 12 inches from the center of the table, and then you can deploy your tanks uh, on either side within basically an 8-inch radius around the objectives themselves. Now, of course, for winning the game, they basically say a player wins if they start their turn with a tank within four inches of the objective in the opponent's half, and the opponent has no tanks within four inches or 10 centimeters of that objective. Okay, that sounds pretty uh, straightforward. Um, I am think they didn't say who gets to go first, so we're going to have to dice off to see. High roll gets to go first. The Germans roll a six, and the Brits roll a five. So, guess what? Germans are going first. What to do, what to do. Um, I am not incorporating the movement orders uh, that a leader can give. I still need to sit down and go through those myself. But pretty much, this is very straightforward, very much like the uh, last game. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move my Panzer IV out to here. All right, and using the flexible ruler, I think it's a nice thing because again, you can you can you can twist it, you can turn it, however which way you want. The other tank, hmm. I don't know. I think I'm going to just have it move to the wall here in a position where it can see this way or this way. Kind of like an Overwatch type thing. Well, there is no shooting. There is no assault step because there's no assaulting uh, just with tanks. So now it goes over to the British turn. And for... The, for our Crusaders, hmm, gosh, that's a tough one. I think I would have them, let's see if I can have them go. Let's see, how far do I want them to go? With those guys, I can have them go up to here. And I would bring the other Crusader up to here as well. For my grant, I'm going to go ahead. They're going to go out and meet. So for the grant, I'm going to have them go out to uh, 10 inches out here. So at this point now, for the Allies, they have got three tanks uh, going at it. Uh, they have moved. Now the question comes down to is what can be shot at and what can be done. Uh, the British do have a line of sight. We see that the Grant has a line of sight to the Panzer III, but there is a wall, so they do get concealment. That's going to make it a little harder for the Brits to uh, take the shot. Over here, the Crusader. This Crusader, I know, wasn't going to have a problem shooting. Again, being behind the wall does provide concealment. This one, okay, yeah, again, we're able to shoot, but again, that concealment, that's going to make it a lot harder. Now, here's the thing. Are they above 16 inches? Well, for the cru for the Grant, um, yeah, Grant is beyond 16 inches, so that's an extra plus one to the dice. Uh, for... The Crusaders, that is not the case. So, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to fire with the Grant. I'm going to fire with the whole gun. It has got a rate of fire, Roth, moving. It's a 1. What do I need to hit the Panzer three on, according to the card? It's a 4+. plus, But, the is behind cover, so that's a 5+. plus. Okay, so, with the Grant firing the 75mm gun, 
Rolled a three, no hit. Okay. Uh, do I want to take the chance with the second, the secondary armament? No, it's. I'm not going to do that. Now these two crusaders are firing. Uh, they again base of four plus one five. Okay, and I'm sorry, the Grant should not have had a five. It should have been a six. I'm sorry, four for the target, one for the concealment, and then plus one for the 16 inches. Oop, glad I caught that. All right, it would have made a difference. So for these guys here, they're going to roll two dice each. They're going to roll two dice total, one dice each. Okay, and they're going to need fives to hit. Ooh! Oh, wow! Oh, man, that is boxcars. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, so we have two hits on the Panzer III. It does have a front armor of five. The anti-tank with the six-pounder Crusaders. Well, yeah, let's see. What is the anti-tank with this? Go back, check my card here because it's a Crusader 3 that I am dealing with here. It has an anti-tank value of 9. So for the Germans, okay, we're going to roll and we're going to see who... Okay, 5 plus 5 is 10. That takes out the first shot. Doesn't matter. 5 plus 2 is 7, which is less than the AT of the Crusader. That's 9. There is a penetration. Now the big question is, what's the firepower roll for a 6-pounder? It's a 4 plus. So if they roll 1, 2, or 3, they're bailed. 4, 5, or 6, they're destroyed. And rolled another 6. Wow. Well, so much for the Panzer III. It is now out of the game. Wow, that was pretty quick and pretty brutal. Well, we'll see what happens in the next turn. The next turn, the Germans are, uh, they have to make a decision. Wow. Um, I'm going to move, I'm going to move the Germans. Let's see. Hmm. I think I'm going to move them here. I'm going to pull them back, and that way uh, I'll pull them back to here. I'm going to take the shot at the. I'm going to take the shot at the Grant. I've got one dice, and I know it's beyond 16 inches because this is already 12. Now, normally I would use a tape measure, but I don't have one on me right now, and this is a very small map. So we're going to go in one die. The grant is careful, so four plus one for the extra range. It's a five or six to hit. Nope, they missed. Turn is over. Now we go back to the British turn two. And at this point right now, hmm, this may be very fast. We'll see. Okay, this may be a very fast game. So this way, what I'm going to do, I am going to have... My Crusader come in here, and I'm going to have one Crusader come in like this. The other Crusader is going to follow suit. So they do have a line of sight on him. This may be a lopsided fight. I don't know. Uh, the Grant, I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay with where the Grant is because I can roll two dice, uh, but I am going to need fives to hit with the main 75. So I'm going to roll for the grant, base four for the target, plus one for the range. So that's a five, needs fives. I got one hit. So I have one hit on the uh, Panzer III as a front armor of five. So we're going to roll and see. Five plus two, seven. The Grant 75 millimeter gun is a nine. It has penetrated. Now it's a firepower roll. And we got a six, ladies and gentlemen. The Panzer IV is knocked out. And as it is, guys, this was a pretty fast game. It was bloody and it was fast, but it's over. <laughs> it's over. Uh, you know, this is why you want to have terrain on the board and probably having a few more units, probably anti-tank guns, infantry, but that's part of the fun 
uh, in dealing with flames of war is how how do you tool up your army to take on the other guy and considering that I'm just using the stuff that is in the basic set here okay um, well I thought that turned out fairly well okay but uh, yeah at this point you know with the two German tanks destroyed uh, out of the game then wow it's over uh, the objectives can easily uh, be taken. I like what they did with the objectives. Uh, in the earlier editions, they used uh, wrecked tanks, like ammo, fuel depot. I have a bunch of those. They're really cool. However, when it comes down to things like if, uh, if you need to move over the objective or whatnot, then, you know, that was another, th that was another story. So I like the objectives, uh, how they have done it here for El Alamein. I do like the terrain uh, cutout. I might try this with my students. All right. Hey, I hope you benefited from this. And uh, hey, take care and God bless.